Simama tuimbe wimbo. Si ndio walisema baba hata kuwa lakini wakati huu jamani baba ako ndani. Tuketi chini kidogo. Wamama hai. Wamama hai. Waremo hai. Ah hiyo kitu haijaingia. Hiyo hai si ya baba ama Haida ama wini na Rosemary. Wamama hai. Wamama hai. Waremo hai. Baba Nimeambiwa hii haina protocol. Manake hii ni wakati ya baba na watoto wake. I recognize everybody in the room. But now I want to recognize the presence of the daughters and we the daughters of baba. Warembo wa baba nduru kidogo. Captains wa baba mko wapi? The first time I set my eyes at a close proximity with Baba, ilikuwa safari park. Kuangalia Baba hivi kidogo ni kamuambia uko nyumbani, wanatuambia mambo aiko, walituambia lakini sisi ya tutaki kujua. Kidogo kidogo ni kaenda kwa mtandao, ni kasema lilikuwa na Baba. Wengine wakanitusi. Ni kawambia musijali, Munajua nyinyi mliambiwa baba ni mbaya. Wakati huu mambo imebadilika. The second time I set my eyes on baba ilikuwa University of Nairobi. At a very close proximity. Hiyo wakati Hiyo wakati mrembo wake alipewa nafasi ya kuongea. And when this girl was given, given an opportunity, everybody who was in the room can attest to you, Baba, alicheka tukaona meno yake ya mwisho. Kama uliona meno ya Baba ya mwisho wa kinapoli njoroge, muku wapi? Janet and the other daughters. Baba smiled and we saw a father in the room. My friend, kwa majina yangu na hitu wa Kasti Misheni, kutoka Meru County, Mahali ambapo sisi tukiambiwa fanya tunafanya. Ukiambiwa kata au fikiri anyway sisi hatunaga dhambi. Sisi we follow instructions and we follow instructions from the people who matter. One of them is Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. Sisi baba kama vijana wako, kama vijana wa Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. We saw a father in you, and that is what we are following. And seeing your daughters here today is the greatest of the honors that we have in this room. Makofi kwa watoto wa Raila Amolo Odinga. Hii mara ya mwisho hii nimekuja nikapiga selfie. Nikaeka Facebook. Wakanza kuona enyewa azimio. 
Wengine wenye walikuwa na nitusi au nitusi wanaona ni kama yenyewe inawezekana. Wengine washaona inawezekana. Haki ya Mungu, Meru County, baba utapata kura zote. Now, we want to have a very interactive session with these daughters. You know we have always seen baba on the rallies. We have always seen baba wakimwambia anajua tu kitenda wili. Today is the day. Tunataka kusikia au warembo wakituambia how it feels to be close to their dad. Sasa tutoe mafikira kwa siasa tuko nyumbani. Sawa sawa? Tuweke mafikla sasa tuko nyumbani. I will ask them some few questions. And I want them to be easy. Bana mahali unapaswa kucheka cheka. Mahali unapaswa kuweka emotions like oh, my day in the my, my girl day in the house. Oh. Ukitaka kuweka emotions ufanye nini? Uweke. Madam oh. Daughters of Raila oh. Hii kitu tuko nyumbani sasa ni freestyle. Hata ukitaka kugeukiwa mwingine umshike mabega nini tutasahau hiyo. Kidogo tusahau tuko kwa siasa. Sawa sawa. We appreciate. We appreciate you girls and we love you so much. You make us feel that we are having as a father as a president. So my first question goes to Okay. Wini amesema kitu ya kwanza wacha ajitambulisha sababu tuko nyumbani. Hakuna vile mgeni anaweza kuja alafu tukose kidogo kujuana. So we start with you Rosemary. So tell us who you are. Kaili. Habari zenu? Okay, it's working. My name is Rosemary A Odinga and um this is my sister, Winnie. Before me, we have our brother, Fidel. And between me and Winnie, there's another brother, Raila Jr. Yeah, so, <laughs> Wamama, hi. Hi. Okay, good. Daughters of Raila Mko. I saw somebody here who was saying she's the recruiter of Daughters of Raila. Mom, I thought that was you. I thought you were the head recruiter. Ma, kwa majina naitwa Wini Imga Dakoth Juma Nema Kazi Odinga. Hey. Yeah, ni jina kubwa. <laughs> um, but I think I speak for my sister of all the names and nicknames we have. I think our favorite one is to be called Waschana wa Baba. Um, but from what I've seen today sijui nianze kuzoea first daughter ama <laughs> what I should start doing right now. So, yeah. Yeah, but, but that is us. Wow, wapigia makofi. Mwanasikia wini hata shenga na jua. Na sijui. So, we go straight to the questions. We start with you, Rosemary. Who is Baba to you? Generally, who is Baba to you? Hey. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, he's there. I can see him now. To me, um, Baba is many things to me, um, depending on the situation <laughs> and the mood. Um, sometimes, most of the times to me, he's a person I go to to seek advice. It doesn't matter where he is. For example, today I am here, but I could have been at home. And if I was to call him right now, he would not mind picking up the phone to hear what it is that I have to say to So to me, Baba is someone who's always ready to listen to me. Wow, makofi mzuli tafadhali. That's so encouraging. Wow. To you, Winnie. To me, um, <laughs> he's omnipresent. Um, oh, if I go home, he's there. If I go to work, he's there. On Sunday morning, 6 a.m., he's the one calling. At night, he's the one calling. Um, but he's really just like a, a best friend, a good friend, a father, uh, a big brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's what it is. <laughs> wow, a big bro. Baba, where were you big bro? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, next question. What is he like as a dad? You've just explained to us who Baba is. Action, action. He's always on the move. That's what he's like. He's always on the move. He's always rushing us. Even if you go, you want to relax, he's always rushing us. Go here, go here, do this, do that. I'd say uh, full of action. What did you say? Wow. Rosemary? Yes, it should take the water out of my mouth. He's action, and, but then he's also full of ideas. Ideas, 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 ideas. And like I said earlier, he listens. So he's always ready to listen to new ideas and new information. He doesn't know it all. Though sometimes he thinks. Nah, he, he thinks he knows it all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also say he's um, surprising. You never know, you know. Like you can find him doing something you never thought you'd find him doing. You find him one day he's in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> oh, madam. Oh, na juwa kila dem wapo na taka boy kama wio. Oh, in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Um, an incident is when he told us to go um, shopping. So we went shopping, he and I, we came back, we cooked, and I was his assistant. Cooked, 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 cooked. Everybody else ate, and then after he said, okay, so now the washing up is yeah. <laughs> for everyone it's else. Very... So then you'll also find he'll do something random, like he'll decide to drive. Mm -hmm. yeah. or, or, or you'll find him on uh, Arambe house <laughs> doing a handshake. He didn't tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you never know what he's going to do. You handshake. <laughs> By the way, Winnie, mm. iko mademu hapo walikuwa wa queens na handshake. Uh -huh. Sijui kama nyinyi muliembrezi handshake kwa nyumba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wholeheartedly. Okay. Wholeheartedly, you know, we support everything he does. Everything okay. um, they both tell us to do. We're a family that works together. We support everything. And now, at least to my honor, that was the right decision. Wow, hapo ndiyo tunapiga makofi jamani. So, the last, okay, you, you got something? I don't yeah. say we support everything all the time. Okay. Because you see, for example, like this. She doesn't right? agree, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is okay. In our house, it's okay to, to disagree. Yes. And we have to listen to one another, for example, like this. Oh, okay. Um, what we don't agree with or what we don't support, we're allowed to voice it and say this is what we think about what it is that is happening or what it is that's being done by whoever it is in the house. And both our parents have created that environment. And um, when you s voice your um, concerns, we all sit down and we all discuss. We all discuss and everybody, you say your point, Aww. you say the point and then in the end, um, we agree. Or if we don't agree, we respect the other person. Oh, so we leave the WhatsApp group. <laughs> what a family. Wapigie makofi. What a family. Wow. You feel how the room is so silent. They have seen the other side yeah. of the family that we call the president family. I, 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 I think, just sorry to add, I think it would be remiss if we didn't say Yeah. He really, really loves his girls. Like, um, like how he talks to me and how he speaks to my brothers are two different, <laughs> two different things. Um, he's, really, he's really loving and, um, you know, he has his own nicknames for us. And every time we see him, unless I've done something I shouldn't have, he meets you and he's happy and smiles and says, Hey, mama, or well, something like that. Aww. Madam, aww. So the last question, maybe. Or think, uh, sorry. Okay. And, and that name, Mama. Um, kind of confuses us both because um, you see the thing is we're both named after his mother oh, yeah? and I am named after both my grandmothers so to me they are my parents yes but sometimes we flip and they become my children <laughs> wow ma but ma more so Baba I call him my son right oh. um, and it's okay in the house, because that again shows how in our house we are democratic or we are, we are open. That's the first place I ever had that word democ democracy was in our home. And so they also preach that. Um, but I like it because it gives me freedom to um, express myself at home. And um, when you see Baba out there, what you see is really what you get. There's no hidden thing about who he is.
Wow, wow, wow. So, I think I have the last question for you guys. The room is so silent. I think as a nation, we are seeing a new thing. And we are loving it that we will have the best of the best first daughters in the state house next year. And I am maybe the first lady from Meru County to interview the first daughters of His Excellency who Nane um, Raila Amolo Odinga was state house. Yani tunasema Raila Amolo Odinga was state house. So I'm so humbled. Number three, why do you feel? Why do you feel safe with Kenya in Baba's hands? Why do you feel safe? Anyone can do it. Tulisema tuko kwa nyumba sasa. Yeah. Well, a fact apart from being his 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 daughter, yes, he's also the grandfather of my children. Okay. And um And I feel safe with my children in his hands. And when they ask, when are we going to see Babu? Or when can we hang out with him? And he says, okay, come. And sometimes he says, I'm coming to pick them up. And um, if I can trust, me become a mama, my children in your hands. <laughs> then um, I can implore and ask Kenya, you too, you can trust him. Wow. Winnie. Uh, okay, me, I don't have children. <laughs> and uh, you stop treating me about that. <laughs> um, I think for me, um, he's trustworthy. Once he says he's going to do something, he'll die trying to achieve that. Um, that's something I really, really love about him. He's very reliable. Uh, you can always count on him. But also some of the things that he's taught us, and my, and my mother as well, the things they've taught us. You know, if you go to Bondo, and to our family home, uh, Kango Kajaramogi, above Jaramogi's grave is the family motto, which says, uh, freedom has a price. And we've, every time we go there, there's a museum there, a museum there, sorry, and we're always being taught the history and you think you've had history stories, I've had them and had them and had them. But really, it, 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 it teaching us so that we know where we've come from, uh, we understand where we are and why we are here, and more importantly, that when they're not there, uh, how we can continue going where we're meant to go. And um, one thing that they always say is, um, stand up and your job as an Odinga, and this is the whole wide Odinga family, you must work in some form of public service at some point in your life. You cannot just sit there and enjoy by yourself. What you do, you must, whether it's paying school fees or community work or hospital bills, you must do it. So I was joking with Keo earlier that maybe we should change the family motto to, uh, there's a verse I heard here earlier, it was, I think Proverbs 31, which is uh, something along the lines of open your mouth to speak for those that cannot speak. So open your mouth to speak for the poor, open your mouth to speak for the downtrodden. And uh, that, among many other things, is uh, why I think this is a, a good man for this country. Wow. Makofi kwa Rosemary and Winnie. I personally feel Baba is a father. Baba is the man of is a man of the house baba is a loving man to aida baba is a great man baba has made these girls who they are today so thank you so much for making us feel that baba is a father not to you alone but no these girls have the taken kids. him from me <laughs> <laughs> I think they're the owners of him. Um, but more importantly, sorry, I know you're shutting down, but Baba, I know you're an engineer, and you learn by seeing, you learn by facts. So I hope today you have seen what the ladies and women of this country can do in the campaign. Wow. 
And we, they have the energy, they have the vibrance, and we're taking them along with us everywhere that we go. Thank you so much. And Wajoi, you will allow me to take this picture. Ikiwa katikati yao, hii tutasema, State House, first, first Daughters, with the MCA 2022, Egoji West Ward, Ukomeru County. God bless you. Santi Sana, as we welcome Honorable Gladys. Atweke ile siyo, siyo juju ni maombi. Aya, sawa, sawa. Wasn't that a lovely session? Wangapi mwenjo hiyo session ya daughters, first daughters, asante sana. Sasa wacha ni mwalike to the stage, cast Honorable Rachel Shebesh, who will take up the program and invite the governors who are in the room, alafu, to Rudy Kwa Baba. Tweke hiyo wimbo tafadhali.